I'm here mostly for a specific restaurant actually um, a seafood restaurant which I've been wanting to um, visit since I've planned my um, Hungarian trip uh, oof, look at this very colorful kind of street umbrellas yeah, we're getting inside the town this way um, it's very beautiful this is a small town really and I suspect it's very touristy especially in the summer season uh, okay this must be one of the main streets here uh, let's go this way because I think the main square of the town is actually there these are traditional Hungarian restaurants and stuff ok let's go this way uh, definitely inside some people's house here but I think this is a way to sort of get on top of a hill so we can maybe get some nice views of the town I think now this is just a complicated way to get to the restaurant where I want to eat but some walking can I stimulate my appetite so. oh I think this is the main church of the town and from here I suppose you can get some nice views I think there's so many houses all very close together and there's barely enough space between each house we'll go that way I'm a little bit lost but trying to find my way back to the main road hello yeah so this is the main the main road I was talking about so yeah guys, so if you're in Budapest, don't remain in Budapest, surely if you've got two days, stay there, but if you've got more than two days, then stay five, six days in Budapest, come and see all these kind of small towns, that is the freakish, looks like Chile, but it's dry. And I think the restaurant that I want to see is somewhere around here. I'm gonna go there and eat some fresh seafood because this is what life is about. There we go, and I have arrived. So it's called From Sea. Now look at this menu. Something that I don't wish to my worst enemy. You see, coming here and having to choose among all those fish dishes. It's very, very painful. Let's go inside. Hello. Hi. Oh. So I will tell you what is the specialty today. Okay. Is the, if you like. Mm -hmm. Place it's salad. I will okay. show you a photo. Right, is if that if you like because it's not grilled, it's steamed. Oh, it's steamed. Butter. So it's a, uh, I like will a show butter. You a photo. Photo. Okay. Oh. oh yeah. So do we, do we make gastro vlog? Yes. Mm hmm Yes. Um, it's a travel for food kind of channel. Yeah. This is the Kotsevongle. Oh, do you do you do you actually make this pasta today or uh, Yes, when I go to Italy I always eat this. I know, I know. Yes. <laughs> I miss that because so, I don't live in Italy. Really? I live in the UK. Really? So I live in Scotland, yeah. Oh. And I've been missing this kind of food. So do you have three different? Oh I, 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 this one. Shrimp and mussels. Shrimp and shrimp and mussels. Yes, yeah. but we use cream, no problem. Yeah, no, it's fine. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And we put, because Hungarian people, I know. They love, they love sour cream. cream. <laughs> not, not only sour cream, but they love also the cheese on the yeah, pasta. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah so I mean, we put. Parmesan, but yeah. But I know that in Italy, I know. they don't put 
Or I know, seafood. but we, we are in Hungary, so we're gonna eat Hungarian yes. Yes. style okay. of pasta. Yo. And then we, we get the the one you were talking about. Is this the yes, the plate? The steam, steam with okay. Um, okay. Okay. and stuff, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Is it too much? No. 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 Yeah, apparently, this restaurant is pretty famous. It's been mentioned in a journal which is called Street Kitchen, and uh, there is actually the boss in one of the pages here. Maybe we will meet him um, today, if we are lucky. Oh, I believe that's my pasta. Okay. Fantastic, thanks so much. Okay. Let's dig in into this pasta. Obviously you guys know I'm Italian and I know my pasta and I appreciate that. There will be a difference between an Hungarian pasta and an Italian pasta, but this looks really good. This looks really good. It's basically a seafood pasta. It's a uh, pasta with it's, it looks like linguine kind of pasta, and it's with mussels and shrimps, cherry tomatoes inside. There is basil, which I do appreciate a lot. Basil always good in the pasta. And another thing that you guys know is that usually we. You know, like cheese and pasta with seafood is kind of, kind of a, a controversial kind of topic, but I don't mind. So let's dig in and let's get a little bit of this pasta. It's really hot, actually. And use this this the spoon as you should with the pasta. Mm, okay. It's really creamy. There's a lot of seafood flavor, and you can see this tiny little shrimp. Mm. Really happy that the linguine are al dente, and you see the the flavors are very well balanced. Like. There's not too much cheese flavor, which would definitely like overpower the fish flavor. And there is enough fish flavor to sort of, you know, make you feel like you're eating seafood pasta. And there are big mussels. Um, mm, mm. And you put them into the dish. And another interesting thing is that this kind of lemon slice, uh, it's kind of penetrate the, the the pasta. It gives a lot of lemon flavor to it, which is kind of interesting. It's nice. So I'll get me this basil leaves into this next bite. Some people just leave the basil leaves around uh, on one side of the dish. I'm not one of those people. There's a lot of pasta in this plate. I would have never thought I would actually love lemon squeeze on seafood pasta. Well. So you see, I didn't, I didn't like the pasta, you see. <laughs> okay. I think my fish order is arriving. Oh, right. yeah. oh, there's a salad as well. Mango. Pomegranate, mango. Yeah. Uh, uh, rucola. And, uh, yeah. This is a uh, uh, beans uh, sprout. Oh. So as you can see, we've got um, a fish. It's steamed and there is a sauce, kind of a sauce made with olive oil, um, cherry tomatoes, capes, lemon. So, say what you want, but the star of this dish is exactly the, the sauce. It's not about the, the fish itself. Surely the fish is going to be great, 
but the sauce, this kind of mix of olive oil, capes and tomatoes is just gonna be insane. I know that already. Without further talking, let's dig into this dish and let's break a little bit of the fish and try to get some sauce in the spoon because that's gonna be the deal breaker otherwise. Um, yeah. Oh my god, there's so much lemony flavor and this, I said it, like this kind of sauce, uh, this potent mix of tomato and olive oil, fresh olive oil and capes, there's so much cape flavor in it and the fish is so tender, the fish just like melts in your mouth, it just comes out like so easily, um, it's been steamed to perfection, let's add a little bit of the sauce in it, uh, this is the bite of the glory. It's all about the sauce really and uh, get me some squeeze of lemon and we got a perfect bite dripping with lemon juice. Oh, this is boss man. Yes. Kosanam. <laughs> Grazie. <laughs> Thanks so much. It's a nice option for traditional interior they have. Oh, how do you call the Kosanam restaurant in it? Hetterem. How do you call it? Hetterem. Yeah. They are not open. Oh, it's this one. So yeah. They have very good chimney cake. They've got chimney cake. Okay. Yes. Okay, and so they open in the afternoon, like later in the evening, yeah? Yes, but some days when well, not too many tourists, they don't open. Right, right, okay, see, because, see. Because uh, it's not the season. Yeah, if, if, if it's not yeah. summer, uh, you, there's not much, yeah. much going on in this street. Yeah. But thanks so much, thank you. No, so, so you are Daniel? Daniel? My name is Daniel, yeah, Daniele or Daniele in, in, in Italian, yeah. Okay. okay, what's your name? Agatha. Agatha, thanks so much Agatha for the amazing food. Thanks, bye bye. Hungarian food.